Howdy y'all, fuzzy biker here. We are in Seward, Seward, Nebraska. We are on two Himalayans today. Three people, two Himalayans. My hot rod right there. This beautiful bike right here. Done some traveling with that one before, haven't we? Anyway, it's gonna be a grand day. We are uh, left Iowa this morning about uh, 520. I already hit a raccoon again, so I've hit two raccoons. Let me check that over here. Hit it with this side right here this time. Any damage? I don't see any. Uh, Colorado bound, so we left at 5.30. We hope to be in Colorado. Uh, Frisco by 6 o'clock tonight, if we're lucky. You know, we're stopping for coffee right now, so we'll probably do a couple of those throughout the day. That'll be fun. But uh, look at that. Isn't that kind of a neat building? Anyway, it's been a gorgeous ride so far, and the bikes are just rolling like champs. They are just... These are great traveling bikes. You know, we did, uh, we've been on Interstate 80 almost the whole morning in the last 10 miles we've been on back roads. So we're gonna try to take 30 the rest of the way from here, as far as we can go anyway, then get on 76, then that way over to Colorado somehow. But uh, yeah, good, good riding. I've got uh, my Nervic jacket on. I've got my Noru underwear top and bottom on. I've got insulated pants on. I'm wearing my Tourmaster Polar Tech gloves, Tourmaster Polar Tech gloves. And they are nice and warm by golly. Got my showy uh, Neotech. So it's a Nervic jacket, Neotech helmet, Neotech 2 helmet. And it's just been a grand morning for a ride. It's, it's, just, it's just been beautiful. You know, coming up, it, we left in the dark. Uh, sun's behind us. It's starting to get light. Slowly the colors come in grades. You know, as the, as the sun comes up, the, uh, the, uh, you know, the, the brightest colors start to show first. And as the, the world starts revealing itself to you. And it's just, just absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Hey, I'm going to get in there and have a cup of coffee. Y'all do the same. Wahoo. Hey, we have made it to Ogallala, Ogallala, Nebraska. The uh, bikes are running grand. It's been quite a ride. It's been quite a ride. Uh, we have driven through the vast industrial farmlands of Nebraska. And I mean to tell you, as far as you can see, cornfields, uh, it's just amazing. Irrigation systems, big trucks, tractors, uh, just vast spaces of, you know, this kind of production. You know, the amazing farmers, the water from the uh, Oglala Aquifer, irrigating the thing. Uh, it, you know, it's truly a breadbasket of America. It's just, uh, wow. Uh, there's a big train track. I mean, we've been on Highway 30, big train track through there. We came upon a the remnants of a, uh, where a big derailment had happened. They'd cleaned it all up already, but some of the train cars were still sitting there. They were off their bogies, and uh, they were just kind of like crumpled, you know, twisted, crumpled, it was just, Bizarro, bizarro. Um, the bikes are doing grand. You know, there's my needs a bath bike. Uh, the the uh, seat was giving problems for the passenger, and so we took this plate off. And uh, well, first we took the bag off and put the bag on the back of my bike, and uh, then we took this plate off, and that the plate was coming over here somewhere, you know. So we got rid of that, and uh, that made it uh, so this worked out pretty good. Uh, he's got these uh, Rhino walk bags on here and I was actually looking at getting those I, that's one of the systems I thought of getting for mine I think these are the small and we can meet them in a large also so we're thinking about those and I'm not sure what these are these are the Baxter cycle we got these at but uh, I'm not sure what the branding is anyway the bike's looking pretty good he's still got the stock tire I think he's got something like 2,500 miles on that bike on that bike tire and of course I've got uh, I think I'm like 11,000 two or three hundred Three or four hundred, something like that. I love this box. This has just been the bomb. I, uh, excellent, excellent, excellent product. All right, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and get some lunch, and then uh, we're gonna head over to Colorado. We're just down the road from Colorado. Uh, Highway 76 is I can't I don't know if it's 10 miles or 20 miles, but we're just just about there by golly. So uh, catch up the all in a bit. Wow. Hey y'all, fuzzy biker. We just made it. We're in Frisco. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at this out here. Uh, the, getting off the I-70 and this little, you have to weave in the back to get here and the Aspens are just, I mean, this, you can barely see it here, but it's, it's, it's phenomenal, phenomenal. Here's the bikes. So we've got three Royal Enfield Himalayan 452s. There's mine. There's the black and gold. There's Mark's Casa Brown, which is actually dirty, which is, he usually keeps that thing spotless. But uh, they, he was telling me about some of the loops they've been running. But check this out. They've, the last couple of days, these two bikes, this is an Interceptor that's been scrambleized. That's a Baxter Custom Works bike. 
and uh, they've been out there. This the guy started cleaning, but the back tire is still dirty. Anyway, they've been out, you know, banging it, and they're telling us about some of the places they've been. <laughs> anyway, uh, the the ride here. So we left. Uh, let's see, where did I leave off with y'all? We went through uh, the farmlands of Nebraska and all that neat stuff. We stayed on 30, stopped at Ogallala, got some lunch there. Stayed on 30 some more, and then we took, I think it was 134, because we did not want to get on 76. If you've ever been on 76, you'll understand why. And we stayed on that until about the last 30 miles, and we had to head hop on 76. And a nice little town riding, you know, beautiful scenery, just slowly climbing, you know, slowly going uphill. Then we got on, uh, got into Denver, and uh, we kind of missed rush hour, but we kind of didn't miss it. I mean, there's remnants of it. Uh, we were in the westbound lane. Eastbound lane was blocked off. There was a big accident of some sort. And uh, they were, uh, you know, that, that was a nightmare over there. <laughs> we had trouble finding bathrooms. We stopped. Bathrooms are closed. Stop. Bathrooms are closed. Anyway, we got that handled, thank God. But uh, it, it, it was just, uh, we got west of Denver, and that's, that's where it really gets pretty, you know. When you get close to Denver, you can see the mountains, and that that really starts to hit you, you know, the emotional part of it. And you get west of Denver, and you, you're climbing up I-70 and climbing and climbing and climbing. I think Denver's 5,000. And to get to the Eisenhower Tunnel, I think the Eisenhower Tunnel is over 11,000. So, you're, you know, twist, twisty, curvy road and the, these Himalayans. I don't think I had to pop out of six gear, but maybe two or three times on that whole run. They have so much torque. There's such a low RPM engine. They just, you know, <laughs> going road speeds, 65, 70, no troubles at all. You know, it, it, they just did it so, so well, you know. And this one had two passengers on. I don't know what he was doing for shifting, but uh, two people on this bike. He's got these uh, Rhino Walk bags on, bags on here. And uh, anyway, we, it was just a fabulous ride. Got to the top, Eisenhower Tunnel. I don't know how long that is, a mile and a half maybe or something like that. Buzz through that, get out the other side. Oh, the closer we got to the top, the colder it got, the colder and colder it got. Buzz through the Eisenhower Tunnel, and uh, oh, it was just so chilly. Glad I had this uh, Nervic jacket on. I zipped everything up, you know. Earlier in the day, it was hot, so we were roasting. <laughs> Anyhow, um, start going down, and now Frisco is only 2,000, is 9, 9,300, 92, 9,300 feet. So I only dropped 2,000 feet, but boy, was it a lot warmer, you know. I don't know if that had a lot to do with the sun, was, you know, on the west side of the mountain, or or, or what the deal was, but uh, quite a ride. Got to Frisco, pulled in here, not just now, just now, literally. Tires are still hot, but uh, what a great ride, what a great ride. So our plan is, uh, we've got these four Himalayans, three Himalayans in this Scrambler uh, Royal Enfield Baxter Cycle Custom Works, you know, Scrambler 650. And we are gonna kind of tear it up the next couple of days. Everybody has to be to work. Everybody has to be back to work on Tuesday, except for those of us that are retired. <laughs> but uh, so we're, we're gonna try to take advantage. Today is Saturday, so Sunday and Monday we're gonna go out there and play. And uh, it, sh it should be fun. I guess one of the days, part of one of the days, we're going to go hiking, and I don't know if we'll take the big old Jeep there or one of these vehicles to get out there, but, uh, I, you know, I don't think if we're going to go hiking, we don't want to ride the bikes because we don't have to wear all the gear. So it should be a, it should be a good time. You know, what, what a great day for a bike ride, you know, motorcycle ride. Oh, 670 miles. Um, GPS said it was going to be 660. Well, we, we went to Lincoln on I-80, and then we got off there, and we got on to uh, 34 and then 30. And that added only 10 miles, probably added an hour or more to the trip, hour or two maybe, but it only added 10 miles in mileage. So not too bad, I thought. And, uh, you know, look at this. It's gonna, it's just going to be a great day. It's going to be a great couple of days out here, you know. Life is good. Life is good. If y'all are interested in motorcycles like this, newer used, Royal Enfields, Triumphs, British bikes of any type, the parts, doodads, thingamajigs, gear like this Royal Enfield Nervic jacket I'm wearing right now, or gloves, or any of that stuff, helmets, get yourself over to Baxter Cycle in the mighty mini tropolis of Marnie, or go to BaxterCycle.com, make sure you tell those fine folks that Fuzzy Biker sent you. By the way, they ship motorcycles, so if you're interested in one of those, they might ship to your area, you never know. Um, hit like and subscribe if you would, I really appreciate that. Leave a comment too if you would. And uh, now it's a beautiful day out here, but I just rode 670 miles, so I am not gonna go ride more motorcycle tonight. I'm going to go inside and do some relaxing. Y'all do the same if you can. Life is good. Wahoo!
Yippee-yay-yay! -yay. Yippee-yay-yo! Down the road we go! Beautiful, beautiful machine!